All right, guys, today, the WH950NB. That is the name, the WH950NB. I get it. I understand naming, but these are dope. We're going to check them out. We're going to take a look. Price again, 180 If you're new to the channel, hit that like, drop a sub. But let's check out Edifier's brand new high-res audio headphones, and look how good these look. These things are absolutely beautiful. This matte finish on here, there's a little bit of texture on the top of the cups here. These things are nice. The colorway with the accent color on here is absolutely beautiful. When you grab these, when you feel these, and when you look at them, they're going to feel like they do have value. And they do. At 180, these things are very well built. And they do feel premium in the hands. Very nice looking pair of headphones. Now, the packaging on here, you can see high-res audio up top. So that means if you have an Android device and you want to use LDAC as your codec, and you're going to get, you're going to be able to get high-res audio. And if you're on an iPhone, well, you are stuck on SBC. However, I've listened to both, and you're going to be happy either way. A little spoiler alert, you're going to be happy with how these sound. Now, we do have Google's Fast Pair here, which you can see here. We do have that quick pop-up animation to pair these right up. And on the back of the box, just some of the specs. But we're going to take a look and see what we get for our money. Now, inside of the box, we do get some paperwork. We do get the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or line in, audio line in, audio line out. And we also get USB-C to USB-A to charge this guy up. And these do work wired, so you can use these plugged in and wired. And then we also get a carrying case, Edifier's carrying case on here. Beautiful looking, in my opinion. We got a nice lining on the inside to give our headphones some protection. Now we do have a pocket here as well. Oh, forgot one thing. We do have an airplane adapter on here. So we get some more stuff for our money. But the actual headphones on here, these things are absolutely beautiful. I wish you could see them in person, but they're very nice. Now, we do have physical buttons on here. We have a multifunction button. We have the volume up and down, the power button. We do have the USB-C port here to charge. Now, there are four mics on here, and, of course, we will be doing a mic test. All right, guys, now the rest of the specs on these headphones. So, again, high-res audio, LDAC support on an Android device. iPhone users, you are going to be using SBC. I have used both, and both of you will be happy with the sound quality of these. These are over-ear headphones. However, depending on the shape and size of your ear, you might feel the ear cups on your ears, but it's irrelevant, kind of, because these are very soft and very comfortable. Bluetooth 5.3, these do have multi-point connection. Four mics on these headphones. We will do a mic test. 40 millimeter drivers on here. Personalized EQ and app support with some things in there that you can change up and customize a little bit. Even some things when it comes to the controls. Now, battery life on here is excellent. With ANC on, up to 34 hours of playtime. With ANC off, you are getting 55 hours of playtime. A 10 minute charge will get you Seven hours of playtime, which is excellent. There's a gaming mode. There is a music mode. There is a theater mode that you can go in and out of using the multifunction button on the headphones. There is also a safe volume control, so it will limit the dB level to 85 decibels of noise. So if you are worried about how loud these are, which we will talk about later, there is something that will help you do that. Now the actual headphones on here, you can see how good these look. Again, these are very premium headphones. In my opinion, they feel very premium. And in some ways, to me, they feel more premium than, say, the Sony headphones and some of the other higher-end priced headphones. But the accent color on here, let me know what you guys think of how these look. Again, there's two colorways, this black colorway and the matte colorway. Now, these do swivel, as you can see. These do fold. So you can carry these around without any issues. Now, there is a good amount of padding up top. As you can see here, they do slide very smooth in and out. Overall, just a nice pair. Now, here on the actual headphones, you can see the buttons. So we have the multifunction button. We have the three buttons here, the power button, the volume up and down, the USB-C port to charge. Again, two microphones on each ear cup. And we also have the 3.5 millimeter on our left ear cup, overall just a very good looking pair of headphones. We're gonna throw them on and we'll go in and we'll take a look at the app and we'll go from there. So, all right, let me know what you think of the look. Now I do have an oval and skinny shaped head. If you have a rounder head, they might look a little better on you, but this is what it looks like on a dome like mine. But let's take a look at the Edifier Connect app. This is available on Android devices and iPhones. 
Now the app itself, as you can see here, we do get a picture of our headphones with the battery percentages and there's also safe volume right next to it. If safe volume was on, that would be lit up green, that little dot. On the right side here, you can see it does say the number three with a slider. This is for our ambient sound. As I am using ambient sound right now, this will adjust the level, of course. Negative three is the lowest and three is the highest, and that will determine how much outside noise these headphones do allow in. You can turn noise cancellation off. We have wind reduction. We also have a low noise cancellation and a high noise cancellation. If you swipe over, you can see we do have some controls and sound effects. So two presets, classic and dynamic. And we can also go in and we can customize our settings and our EQ. You can adjust the gain and the frequencies on here to get a different sound. Now, if we scroll over again, we do have our modes. We get a music mode. That's what you wear. Well, that's where you want to be if you are listening to some tunes. Gaming mode is pretty self-explanatory. And theater mode. If you want to watch some content, put it on theater mode. And up top here, if we hit this little button, we do get a user's manual. We do get the firmware version that we are on. All right, guys, now in here, this is where you will find your LDAC settings. You can go in and you can change it. Now, just be aware that if you are using multipoint, you will not be able to use LDAC. And it makes sense if one phone is an Android device, which supports LDAC, and another is an iPhone, which only supports SBC and AAC, of course, you are not going to be able to use it. So just keep that in mind. No, no multipoint connection if you are using LDAC as your codec. Now, this is your also your safe volume. Just go in, confirm it, and it will just allow it to reach 85 decibels of sound when you are listening to music power off. You can shut it off right from here. Shutdown timer it does give you a bunch of options if you want these to shut down on their own. Now the prompt volume, this is just the headphone vol volume in your head, well, in your ears when you are listening to this. The control settings, these are some of the controls. Again, ANC, sound mode and voice assistant. That is the multifunction button. If you press it once, it will go and change between it. If you press it twice, the sound mode and the voice assistant if you touch and hold that button. So you can see here, we can change these up a little bit. So single press, double press, and press and hold is your voice assistant. Now we also have some dual device connection. This is your multi-point connection. And I'll show you that really quick. As you can see, I am connected right now to the Galaxy Fold 4. But if you look, we are also connected right here on an iPhone. So we are connected to both. But also there is one thing when connecting and using multipoint, you can only use one device with the app. So I am in the app right now on the Fold 4, so I would not be able to open up the app and connect to the app on the second device. It only allows you to do that on one of the devices that you are using. But we are connected to two devices. So a multipoint connection, always a good thing in my opinion. Let me know, drop some comments if you use or if you like, or if you even care about multipoint connection. And then your Bluetooth settings on here, you can disconnect or repair. And that's basically the app, your factory settings, you can confirm it and restart these to factory, well factory reset them. So overall, look, we are at a place right now where everyone is giving us an app and I am here for it. I love the app. You know, last year at this time, we wanted and we were calling for apps for every single product, and we are getting exactly what we want. See, now, let's talk about the ANC and the transparency mode on here. So, again, price is $179, and I want you to keep that in the back of your head when we talk about ANC and transparency mode. So, two different levels of ANC on here, and they are excellent. It drowns out most of the noise in the room. All of the low rumbles are gone. Even some of the voices, it will drown out. Now, it's not at the level of the big boys, right? The, the more expensive headphones, but it is damn close. It is right underneath them, and it is pushing that limit of, you know, value bang for buck. There's far more value in a pair of headphones like this than paying three, 400 bucks for one of those other pairs. If you are looking for something with just good ANC, the ANC on here is excellent. We get two modes. And transparency mode on here, again, we do have the slider on here. The, the transparency mode, or the ambient mode, as they call it, is excellent also. It's the same thing. It's not the level of those other ones. I think this one is slightly below those, right? Tier one for, for maybe the higher priced headphones. This is kind of tier two, where the ANC on here for me is tier one and tier one A on these headphones. But 
Saying that, it's still good. You do have the slider that does allow you to adjust how much noise you let in. And even at the highest point of there, like right now on number three, that's the highest amount of noise you're going to be able to let in with ambient mode. The amount of white noise is very little. So it's very natural sounding. I do like the level and the quality of the ambient mode on these headphones. All right, guys, now four mics total on these headphones. And, you know, a lot of times we're getting like three mics on each ear cup, so six mics total on some of the newer headphones. So I was surprised to hear how good the mics on here sound. But you guys tell me what you think of the microphones on the brand new headphones from Edifier. Now, again, this does have a gaming mode, so if you want to watch content on here, I would suggest going into gaming mode. But saying that, if you are just, you know, listening to YouTube videos, you're not going to experience any delay between audio and video. There might be a little delay, but you're not going to notice it. And in gaming mode, you can play games like Call of Duty, and you are going to be just fine. All right, guys, sound quality and the volume on these headphones. So, look, volume-wise, there's a limiter on here, and it only allows you to go up to 85 decibels if that limiter is turned on. So, saying that, I thought that these would be extremely loud. For me, I do find myself wanting a little more when it comes to the volume on these headphones. But you guys know I like loud music. I like to find that sweet spot, dial it back a little bit, and then I roll from there. These, every now and then, depending on what I am listening to, I find myself wanting just a little more, just a little bit, right? I just want that extra thump or that extra clarity. I just want to hear it a little more. Get into that zone, I find myself wanting that every now and then. But for most people, again, I like loud music. You're probably going to be okay with how loud these get. And the volume on here, look, Edifier. We know how good Edifier's products are when it comes to audio, and this is no different. They sound excellent, especially using LDAC on an Android device. There is some good thumpy bass, good clean thumpy bass, and it does diff it does make a difference depending on what mode you are in. So, of course, in dynamic mode, you're going to get more bass. In classic mode, it will sound a little different, but still sound very good. It will just depend on what kind of taste you have in your music. Now, these are open sounding, but again, if you are using these in, say, ANC or ambient mode, there is a slight difference in sound. So just keep that in mind. Even when you turn these off, when you turn ANC off and transparency mode off, there is a slight shift in how these sound. It's not drastic, but it is different. So you might want to mix and match what preset you're in or what you customize in the EQ, depending on what mode you are going to listen to these in. But the sound quality on here is excellent. The clarity on here is excellent. These things sound fantastic, especially at that price of $179.99. These are a steal, in my opinion, and I would recommend these over some of the other higher-end headphones all day long. These things are an excellent pair of headphones, and the battery life on here is insane with the seven-hour quick charge on here. So 10 minutes will get you seven hours of battery life, but really good battery life with ANC on, incredible battery life with ANC off, they look incredible. Overall, these things are a steal, in my opinion. The Edifier, uh, the name is a little wonky, right? WH950NB. I always got to look at it to remember the name because these, these headphones, for whatever, get these crazy names. But it is what it is. They're a fantastic pair of headphones, guys. Hit that like, drop a sub. I'll be back soon. Peace.